How's it going everyone? And in this video, we're going to be walking through how you can fit custom functions to data plots in Python. And specifically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the curve fit function of the scipy package that we've installed externally in order to do this. And so what I have here is a scatter plot showing a bunch of data points we collected. And you know, it looks like a sine function, but we don't know exactly like what the frequency is or what the amplitude is, what the offset is or the phase. And so our goal here is to really figure out what those values are, or at least have Python give us a good guesstimate as to what those values are so we can publish our data and have some models to point to. Um, and so the way I'm doing this uh, is basically gonna be that curve fit function, which is just gonna do a bunch of guess and checks. But the key thing I want to hit home in this is that it doesn't just have to be a sine function. You can do this with an exponential and have like a custom baseline um, or, you know, a log function or something like that. So you can literally put in any type of function you want, change these values to anything and have Python try to give you a good guesstimate as to what the best fit line is. And so I think that's pretty cool. Um, and so I'm going to give credit here. Uh, it's come from a Stack Overflow post. Uh, and a particular user. So um, I've just commented this to help you guys kind of walk through it. So we'll get started. Um, so this is what our raw data looks like. And our goal here is basically figure out what is the actual trend line that's matching this data. Um, I'm going to post this on GitHub so you guys can download this locally and change whatever you want. Um, but basically what we're doing initially is we're making some fake data points, um, creating just a vector, and we're going to have a thousand data points here. And I'm going to create quote unquote true values. Uh, to make that little uh, picture that we just saw. And so our, uh, in this case, I'm gonna say y is equal to a times sine and then quantity bx plus c plus d. d here would correspond to like an offset. Uh, c would be the phase, b would be the frequency, and a would be the amplitude of this particular function. Um, again, can use any function, but this is what we're going with in this example. Um, and so I'm basically giving those four parameters these values and I'm going to introduce some noise to them with the rand function here. And um, so now I've got that noisy, messy data that we looked at. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that data into uh, this actual uh, curve fit method. And to do that, what we need is we need to give it a little guess to start off with. So there's four things we're trying to guess here, those A, B, C, D. And um, you can be a little bit smart with your guess to try to optimize your program to make it run a little bit quicker. So you know, uh, just, you know, guessing the frequency has to be one, uh, that will correspond to what B is in our little general equation. Um, that is, you know, just, just an initial guess. Um, if you had some intuition to it, uh, in terms of guessing the amplitude, uh, you know, if you think about the math behind it, um, the, the standard deviation of Y is going to be kind of close to what the amplitude is going to be. So like, you know, that could be a great way to start off such that you have a little bit more of an educated initial guess than if you just said it was zero or something like that. And if you have really bad initial guesses, um, it can end up where you get nonsensical uh, fitted functions to it. So it is good to kind of put a little bit of thought into what your initial guess will be. Um, the phase, you know, set to zero. And then um, for the offset, uh, offset is how high or low, uh, how vertically translated is that uh, particular data set from our uh, y-axis. And so in our case, um, I just took the average of y so that, you know, on average, that'll probably be about what um, that d parameter is in our function. So we were trying to make it so that uh, the actual uh, curve fit method doesn't have as much work it has to do. Um, so we're just being nice. <laughs> and um, next what we're going to do is we're basically going to persist all these parameters into a little uh, list or a vector if you're in MATLAB, but in Python, we're just calling them a list. And um, so we take these, this list, and we're also going to define this custom sign function. And that's the reason why NumPy is helpful is it defines this sign function for us. And we're going to pass in these parameters. Um, and so we just pass them in. This is a very simple method. All it does is return this. And now we actually call our curve fit function. And with that, we're going to uh, pass in this function that we've defined, could have done an exponential, could have done it whatever we wanted on line 32. In this case, we're doing sine function, um, but we're also passing in, you know, A, B, C, and D. Uh, and another thing I'm doing here because I want to be able to log this data is I want to be able to see the true versus the, or the quote unquote true versus the um, fitted parameters to see how good we are at uh, getting that to be close to our data points. 
Um, so I'm just plotting that or logging it right here. And then finally what we're doing is we're actually going to uh, just recreate the lists or vectors that we need in order to plot this to see what our data looks like. So I'm going to run this right now and I'm just going to hit run and um, this is what it looks like. So uh, you can see how you know we, we were able to guess our you know initial phase correctly and our initial guess for our amplitude was a little bit high um, but fortunately that's where that curve fit method came into play and it narrowed it down just to make it have a little bit better of a fit so that um, you know we've got some nicer models in order to uh, publish if we wanted to or whatever so um, that is how you do it and i'm gonna wrap this thing up here uh, i hope this was helpful stuff let me know if you have any questions thank you all for watching and be well